quick. You're wasting my minutes. Kane, it's Joel. We have a problem that needs to be addressed by tomorrow. Explain it to me slowly. Okay. We have the budget, we have the crew, we have a shooting schedule which starts tomorrow, and we have no script. How did this one slide by us? Somebody sold an idea, nobody wrote the pages. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to fill in the blanks. What makes a movie for you? A good opening. Okay. How would you open this movie? Okay. Lizzie! The president's in trouble. Wait, 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 wait. We've got Derek Chip David in this, man. Okay? So, there's gotta be some sci-fi. Okay. Lizzie! Alien. Alright. What else makes a good movie for you? I've always wanted a scene where, you know, the guy is outside in the rain, calling up to the girl in the upstairs window. Rachel! What other names can we give her? Annabella! I love you! I hate that name, though. Farahana! I love you! You know what people always love? That character. That's, like, heavily armed and, like, COMPLETELY INSANE! He's got the machine guns, you know, the Berettas and stuff. He's got, like, one of those unrealistic names that nobody ever has, like, like, uh, Mr. Ballistic. I WANT TO KILL EVERYTHING! You know what, though? Yeah. We should try and appeal to the patriotic people of the country. I want to kill everything! For America! There should be some political commentary. Well, this really isn't that much of a political movie. Not overtly, but just below the surface. Subliminal, you know, just slipping into the background somewhere. This can was left here for a reason. I strongly dislike the Democratic Party! Okay, what else do we need? Russians. Soviets make a good end. Okay, but what about the plot, the characters, their development? I don't care about character! Or plot! Or emotions! I like explosions, I don't like violence! Okay, so let's keep that mentality then. Let's keep the pace going. What do you got? More naked! Derek, before we die... Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, how do we make our leading lady's strength grab the audience by the unmentionables? Well, it's easy. Give her a really badass line in the middle of an intense scene. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah! And I've got the perfect line! Clean up an aisle. Dead. Tell me that's not fantastic. What sense does that line make? Revenge! The guy she kills is the murderer of her sister, who he kidnapped from a department store. Her job? Alright. Got the juju going. Now, what other kind of uh, positive forces can we put into this movie? There has to be a friend. This plucky guy that everybody likes and never gets the girl. Hello. I'm Sherman. You know what would be awesome? Hit me. Controversial issues. Wanted to talk to me? Yeah. I needed to talk to someone. Are you making her get an abortion? I'm gay. I like it. I like it because then we establish the friend as a sensitive supporter of the main character. Because gay means sensitive. We should give him a tragic death scene. Tragic death? Yeah! Once you milk the cow, you gotta kill it! Derek, you're gonna give me the secret code, or I'm gonna kill your friend here. Derek, the world is more important. We've gotta be sure that Sherman doesn't leave the decision up to the main character, though. Why? Well, if it happens that Sherman, the super friend here, leaves the decision up to Derek, the hero, and the hero says kill him, I mean... What are we making the hero out to be? But, if we want to ensure the sympathies of the crowd to Derek, then what we should do is leave the friend's death up to the friend. Right? Okay, yeah, so then, so then, yeah, then the scene would play out more like this. 
So, Sherman, either tell me where your friends got the code, or, uh... I'm gonna have to kill you. I'll never sell it off to you! Not a dry eye in the house. <laughs> okay, so, what about the villain? What about him? Well... Nonchalantly evil? I hate jaywalkers. Or unrelentingly evil. Now remember, I finish quicker when you cry. <laughs> what we need is to have a huge fight scene at the end. What is it really that is in your head? What is the life that you had just died? I'm gonna be the one that's taking no Let's leave the fight up to the choreographer. Well, how should the bad guy get it in the end? He's gonna be an alien, right? The sci-fi angle? Of course. Okay, uh... Well, then we just need to, uh... defeat him with the goodness and unity of the human race. I'm gonna kill you so hard, you're gonna die twice! Stop right oh. there! I know that your species is allergic to good nature, will, and unity for all mankind. Therefore... I have a present made specifically for you. A teddy bear made generously from children all over the world. Okay, but you know what we need here for some depth and good measure? What? One of those thoughtful monologues about something thoughtful. You know, when he talks and the camera moves in real slow as he talks. You know, I love that. There comes a time in every man's life when he dies. Kind of like how a waterway is like a waterway. So then we can balance it out with more naked. Do you really not believe that there's enough sex in this movie as it is? Enough? You know how much money we have in this film to blow on special effects and nude scenes? We've got to use it. Lizzie? You know what to do. Okay, what about the ending? What about the ending? Dramatic? Or... Turbo dramatic? What's the difference? The dramatic ending would be just the main character dying. At least... The world is... Safe now! Turbo drama? is when he dies in the arms of the woman that he's never proclaimed love for before until he does it No! Don't tell me! Yes! With his dying breath! Stop! That doesn't even make any sense. What? Why? We already have a scene in there with him professing love. I love you! Aha! Multiple personality disorder! You have an alien parasite wrapped around your spinal cord. The alien is in love with one of the women, and you are in love with the other. So who do I love? That is cinematic gold. You know what we should throw in now, right? What, Dane? A lot more naked! So as a bonus, our lead actress will get an Oscar for doing a bisexual love scene, and we get to sell more naked to horny teenage boys. I'm loving it! <laughs> <laughs> so who do we lasso to direct? Uh, what was the guy's name? I don't know, the, the guy likes crowd pleasers. Who likes crowd pleasers? Crowds? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, whoever does their job with it will do their job with it. Oh. Our job? It's done. <laughs> you see. Oh, things pass. Uh, uh, in <laughs>